Over 1.5 million Armenians were killed in and around Turkey by the Ottoman Empire between 1914 and 1921. Those murders are known as the Armenian Genocide. Turkey has long denied committing the mass killings. As part of that decades-long denial, Turkey has pressured other countries not to officially recognize the genocide. For 40 years, the U.S. did what Turkey wanted. There were numerous chances to pass legislation, but Turkey and its allies, including many in the U.S., managed to stop any bills. Until 2019. That's when both the U.S. House and Senate defied the pressure. They passed a bill declaring that the killing of 1.5 million Armenians by the Ottoman Turks was a genocide. Scholar Eldad Ben Aron says that now that the U.S. has officially recognized the Armenian genocide, the next question is how it will memorialize the genocide beyond the vote in Congress. My name is Dr. Eldad Ben Aron, and I specialize in the field of modern and Middle Eastern studies and the region in diplomatic history during the Cold War. My research focuses on the late 70s and 80s when the Armenian made their first request that the U.S. recognize the Armenian genocide. And in this context, how the Israeli diplomats try to influence the U.S. policy on the Armenian genocide. And in Turks turn for the help of their regional Cold War allies, Israel, Turkey pressured Israel to influence the concept of the United States Holocaust Memorial Museum and those to make sure that the Armenian bill will be rejected by the Congress. So for more than 40 years now, the U.S. was reluctant to contradict the Turkish account of 1915. But a lot of things happened in 2019. An arms trade between Turkey and Russia and the, the trump Erdogan alliance. And it was also, of course, the, the operation against the Kurds in North Syria. All of this together uh, work against Turkey. And it's, it seems like Turkey crossed the line. And the Armenian genocide bill seems like part of the sanction uh, package against Turkey. In the 1980s, how to frame the exhibition of a Jewish memorial uh, regarding the Holocaust, of course were highly contested, and, and it is likely that some of the heated discussion will happen here again. And lastly, we need to think some questions about the U.S. responsibility during the genocide period, during the First World War, will be framed with the Holocaust Memorial. For example, in the late 70s, the Carter administration had an agenda to show the, how the American combats liberated the concentration camps and how the U.S. defeated Hitler. It was really important uh, narrative in the museum. It was not the core narrative, but it was definitely framed in the, the narrative of the museum. However, in the case of the Armenian genocide, there are open questions. The United States back at the time decided not to intervene, even though there were clear uh, evidence by the American ambassador Henry, Henry Morgenthau that the genocide is taking place. So it will be quite interesting to see, to wait and see how these uh, angles will be framed in the Armenian genocide.